Hey, Tim's Workshop. Hey, uh, uh, this is the last part of uh, winterizing the, uh, the Mercury motor for winter. Um, I went through and uh, already did the uh, fogging and, and uh, uh, went through a, a few things on that and uh, the boat itself. Uh, there's, a, there's a few more things to do on this and I'm going to go through it with you right now. One is the uh, starter. Uh, putting some regular uh, 1030 oil uh, make sure the teeth uh, on the flywheel uh, are lubed uh, which looks pretty good I don't see any rust on it right now so that's good and then uh, uh, what else uh, oh the steering uh, I'm gonna move the steering uh, rod out clean it off with a brake cleaner and hit it with some lithium grease and then store it uh, uh, back like this so the rod is protected and covered by the actual uh, steering tube the uh, tilt tube all right so let's uh, go ahead and uh, do this oh uh, also the speedometer uh, cable we're gonna blow some air through it all right so first the uh, the starter okay so what we'll do is uh, shoot a little uh, oil up here Okay. Use a brush go around it, and then uh, move this gear up, and then shoot some down inside the uh, like that, and then hit it with the brush. Probably work with a little thinner brush too. And go around the gear. Yeah, protects it pretty good for the winter. Need a little thinner brush for uh, inside there. Uh, so I'll, I'll round one up, but uh, right now it's fine. Okay, and then uh, let's move this over so the steering rod is exposed. Move the camera over. Buddy, quiet. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so shoot a little brake cleaner on it. Wipe it down. Hit it with a little white uh, lithium grease. All right. Then pull this uh, pull this back in for the for the season.
just like that and just leave it like that okay now the speedometer cable well let's see right down here there's the uh, harpoon okay I just use a uh, dust off there I have to get another can. Let's see if I feel air coming through there. There's a little hole down here. Right down here. Oh yeah. I don't know if uh the camera set up here so you can see it get down on my knee here and I'll put the glove in front of it so you can see the it blowing the glove see that that means it's clear now don't blow air up in this part of the hose it goes up to the uh, uh, the front that's not good for your speedometer there shouldn't be any water in this but this you don't want any water trapped in in here so that's why i blow it out just to make sure it's not clogged if it's clogged you actually can take like a small guitar string like uh, uh cody does up in alaska he uses guitar strings i i'm a guitar player myself so <laughs> it's a good idea and uh, works on carbs too, if you're careful and don't screw them up. All right, so that's clear. Put my glove back on. This time of winter is really hard on my my hands. They uh, they start cracking and drying out really bad. No matter how much stuff I put on my hands, they still crack. All right, there we go. So we got the speed on uh, the. Well, let me get this up here. All right, so we got the uh, the flywheel. We got the starter. We got the steering rod, and we got the speedometer blown out. And that should be good for the winner. All right, yeah, one more thing. Got to grab the uh, Yama lube here. Okay, the hose. Okay, out the other end. So now we'll store this in the shed, hang it up, and it'll be ready for next season. Alrighty, so you liked the video, please subscribe, leave comments, hit uh, that notification ding-a-ling bell for the latest videos, and uh, give me a like. Thanks.